Alright, Lily, I'm going to make the video without you, okay? Alright, today's video is a little tip for uh, making your own compost. We always have all this extra waste from the mail, all this paper. It just goes back into the system. And we have a lot of uh, cardboard plates, or paper plates, that we use instead of wasting tons of water. Um, I'm sure this wastes water too, but instead of just throwing them away, we, uh, I shred them up with my new handy dandy uh, paper shredder, broken paper shredder from the thrift store. So I think I paid like, it was like 350 for this broken paper shredder. The housing was cracked, so I just took the motor out and uh, wired it up. And I'm going to shred these up and show you guys uh, what I do with all the paper shreds here. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we just shred the plates and it makes it, it makes the plates break down a little faster. A lot faster, actually. They won't break down very quickly unless it's really wet. Can we shred this up? What do you think, Lily? You like shredding paper? Yeah. No reason to get rid of this. Oh, look at that thing. Okay. So we shred up our paper. In my, it's very hokey right now. So <laughs> it was a really quick fix. I didn't want to spend too much time making a nice mount for it because I didn't know if this thing was going to, how long this paper shredder was going to last. So we shred up the paper and cardboard, whatever we got. And then we take it over to our compost pile. And we mix that in. You going to help me? Can you help Daddy? I was going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, we grab some paper. What do we do? We put it in the compost pile. The paper is trees, basically, right? Made out of trees. Okay, and then we mix it all in. Are you going to get more? Are you helping me? Okay, wanna show, let's show them the finished product. But this is a good way to get rid of your old newspapers and cards, thin cardboard pieces, paper plates, which are made from wood, which is great for compost piles. I don't, I, think, I don't recommend using the glossy paper, though. I think they use a kind of a weird uh, ink for that. But this is the finished product here. Let's dig in and see what we got, Lily. This is all our food scraps for maybe about a month. Wormies. Look at the wormies. Yeah, they don't like the sun, though. Let me get all those wormies in there. <laughs> That's what they would say. You, won't, you, can't, you don't recognize any paper. So it's going to go from this to this. As long as you turn this pile about every four days, you'll go from having this to that pile, ready to go in your garden. All right, so we'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I hope this little tip helps uh, you guys make some great compost. We'll see you later, Lily. Bye. Where's the thumbs up? There it is.